everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, I'm Lauren and today's video is my eye style tutorial. If you don't know what eye styling is, it's quite similar to tie dye but without the repeating patterns. It's sort of a watercolour dye effect which I prefer to tie dye. I found this technique a few years ago and have tried it out in the past. I'll be dyeing some white beddings today. I'll explain the whole process as I go through it and put all the information you'll need in the description below. Okay, let's get started. So this is the bedding I'm using. Um, I've had it a while, it's just from Ikea, um, and I've got all the white bedding, so I thought this is the perfect one to dye because it is 100% cotton. And you should just be able to check that on your labels. It's very tiny, but it's just here, 100% cotton. So that's because if it's like a mix, like it's got poly cotton in it or other mixed fibers, the dye is less likely to take and fix to the fabric if it's not 100% cotton. So these um, are the ideal thing. I know they have a little bit of a, a pattern, like a stripe, but that should, uh, that should look fine with the dye. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to do the pillowcases first and like for like a test run, I guess. And then I will do this bed cover afterwards because otherwise it's too much fabric on top of the racks. The first step is to dissolve the soda ash dye fixer in cold water. You will need one cup of soda ash per gallon of water, which is 13 tablespoons per four and a half litres. And we are using cold water so the ice doesn't melt too quickly. Okay, so I've soaked my, uh, the two pillowcases in the soda ash dye fixer. Uh, so you should soak that for about 15 minutes. And now I'm going to just rinse out the water and put the pillowcases onto the rack and start adding the ice. Okay, so this is the dye that I'm using. It is Procyon MX dye in 086 Forest Green. Now I've only used this dye once before. So it looks very lime green. I think it, I, well, if I remember rightly, it ended up a little bit darker than this, but not forest is probably not what I describe it as, but I'm hoping that it looks foresty. So I just use a tiny teaspoon because I just want like like I cannot stress that less is more. Like it's just literally like sprinkle. I'm wondering if that's enough. I think you can probably like stop Lauren. Stop. I can't help it. <laughs> I just want to do more. Okay, now I'm gonna stop at that. And um as you can see it's already turned dark green, so hopefully my thoughts of it being lime green is, is going out the window, which is great. Oh god, I can see that mice flying off already. Don't fall off. Hang in there a bit longer, please. I'm gonna get dyed. Keep 
and just going to pick it up, put it back, yeah, that's it, there, melt there. I'm going to wash my hands because they're covered. Okay, so this, this is what it looks like from the other side at the moment. Now, annoyingly, I can see just here, there's a bit of pink dye mixed in with the green. Now, I don't know whether that's come off the teaspoon or whether I've mixed it in, because I think I did a pink and green dye mix, like a really long time. Last time I used the dyes, which was like a year ago. So that's obviously my fault, but you can see it's already melting, it's already spreading out on the fabric. Now, what we'll do, whoops, just a big bit of ice dropped in there. So we'll just wait a few hours, see what it looks like then. I've got to leave it overnight. You basically have to leave it until all of the ice is melted. So it's going to be a lot, hopefully a lot more spread by then. So we'll check it later, see how it's getting on. Okay, so it's the morning now, and obviously all the ice has now melted. Uh, I did notice, I did check on it last night, and I think it was about six hours until all the ice had actually melted. It was a warm day, so obviously that does speed up the melting process. So I thought I'd leave it overnight, uh, anyway, to make sure all the water soaks through and uh, now I'm going to pop it into the washing machine. I'm going to put it on a, a quick wash with a small bit of detergent and that will wash off all the dye and any residue and make it usable. Make sure you do use gloves for this guys because obviously it will get all over your hands and it won't wash off straight away. You'll have to wait a few hours or wash your hands many times for it to actually wash off. So I've just took the pillowcases out of the washing machine and this is what they look like at the moment. So the pillowcases, uh, they do look very different from one side to the other. So there is like a worse side and a better side. So this side's got a lot more colour on it. And then this one here, I would say this is actually the better side, even with this like dark green mark because the other side is a bit patchy but this is what you get when your eyes die you really you really don't know what you're going to end up with so that's all that's fine that's the experimental side of it I'm going to hang these up to dry now and get on with the the duvet cover so this is the bed cover as you can see all the ice has melted now um, it's still dripping a little bit because I've just poured slightly like a little bit of water over where the dye was really heavy like like that part there just to see if I could get some last minute seeping through and because it's very thick cloth um, and because I've got this clear box I can kind of see underneath so I can see it's a lot paler under there I put a lot more dye on this one because the pillowcases were a bit pale. So although it may look really dark here, this is obviously the top where the dye goes straight on. So hopefully it's like seeped through and it will be a nice effect once it's been washed and dried. So I'm gonna just wait for these drips to stop and then I'm gonna pop that in the washing machine. Same as the pillowcases and then I'll show you what it looks like. Here's the finished bed cover, what do you think? I'm really pleased with how it turned out. The only thing that bothers me slightly is the white patch in the middle, but as it was such a large amount of fabric, I'm not surprised that some of it didn't get dyed. It's an experimental process and that's the fun of it, you never know how it will turn out. If you give ice dye a go, let me know how you get on and what results you got. I would recommend starting with smaller pieces of fabric or clothes and you can buy so many brilliant colours so try combining them to get different designs. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like, comment or subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from me.
Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.